So we're going to check out Splash Top on the iPad, which in my opinion is probably the best way to experience browsing and flash on an iPad device, as long as you have a computer that's always on that you can remote into uh, when you need to. It also helps if you have a VPN set up so that if, when you're not on a local network, you can still VPN into uh, the, the local network that has that computer and then load Splash Top so that you can do it from wherever you are. <clears throat> So I'm going to jump right into it here. I'm going to hit the uh, splash, type, splash Top app, and immediately you see it's searching for uh, computers that are on the same network, and you have some of the computers that are saved. You'll notice that the first one on the list says Splash Top Beta Office, and the reason is because per the company, there's some beta features that they've ena enabled that are only available if you call your computer Splash Top Beta and then uh, the name that you want. So I'm going to touch it and go right into it. And here it gives you a quick page of hints. And the computer that I'm remoting into actually has three monitors connected to it. So I'm going to quickly jump to the main monitor. And the way I'm going to do that, you can shake the device, but since we have the beta features enabled, you touch with three fingers. And right there on the bottom, I switch monitors. And I'm at, so now we're on the second monitor. I'm going to do it again. And I'm switching again. And now it brings me to the main monitor. What you're seeing here is a crystal clear Google Chrome browser maximized open that 1024 by 768. It looks like it's native on this iPad. That's how good it looks and, and how well it performs. But where it really outshines some of the others is with audio and video. And I'm going to jump here to a second tab, which is Hulu. And I'm going to just scroll down right here. And I'm going to click on a clip. As you can see, the video is running smoothly. It's handling the flash, it's handling the audio. The audio and video are coming through. Really almost no noticeable lag. Not too many drop frames. So here you see a little bit of a little bit of a choke. Here's where Splash Top really outshines some of the others. I'm going to use one of the beta features again. I'm going to touch with three fingers, and I'm going to hit this button here. And what that does is that it switches from sharp mode to smooth video mode, and it basically just gives the video uh, allows it to come through quicker, less dropped frames. So I just switched it to smooth mode, and I'm going to start the video again. But first, NBC's Kevin Tibbles has his story. He was just another beggar in the hot, but his sign well, said, full I have a God-given gift of voice. So the reporter from the Columbus Dispatch yeah, took a chance. A Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Within hours, that video went viral, way viral, millions of hit. As you can see, there's almost no lag. There's, the sound is coming through perfectly. Inter as an added feature, the remote computer that you remoted into is automatically muted, so that if you're remoting into uh, a, a computer in your house, in your office, it's not going to be the audio is not going to be blasting <laughs> from that computer. And you can you can then easily switch back to sharp mode, continue your browsing. In my opinion, the ability to use Google Chrome quickly, for me, this is, Splashtop is quickly becoming my preferred way to browse on the iPad.